Welcome in WWE Affairs channel please subscribe our channel for latest WWE news. Some places do power rankings. Here at Cageside, we do a stock report. In this weekly series, we identify three superstars or groups of superstars who are on their way up, and three that are moving in the opposite direction. After a busy week that included Bobby Lashley and Lana being arrested, Roman Reigns covered in dog food, and an apology from Seth Rollins, a lot of fortunes were changed. With that in mind, let's see whose stock has increased the most this week. Stock up number 3, The Revival The Revival used their brains, brawn, and old-school healing to win a fatal four-way elimination match on SmackDown and gain a shot at New Day's tag titles at TLC 2019. They delivered a convincing promo afterwards explaining how they are sick of New Day's silly gimmicks, and vow to take things back to the old days. In some ways it feels like we've already been here and done that with these two teams, but it was an effective segment nonetheless for building to a championship match on PPV. Stock up number 2, The Miz The Miz has had a roller coaster year from a booking perspective in WWE. Things started well enough with his partnership with Shane McMahon that resulted in a featured one-on-one -on -one match with the best in the world at WrestleMania 35. But Miz was then buried into the ground in the following months by the Shane McMahon story, and he hasn't been a relevant player on PPV in the second half of 2019. Since losing to McMahon in a steel cage match at Money in the Bank in May, Miz has only wrestled on the main card of two pay-per-view events, including a 50-man battle royal in Saudi Arabia in June. That's why Miz's upcoming match against Bray Wyatt at TLC is a pretty big deal for the A-lister. Even though it would be shocking to see Miz pull off the win, his role in this story has at least restored some relevancy to Miz as an important superstar in WWE, and opens the door for bigger things down the line. Stock up number 1, Lacey Evans Lacey Evans has quickly transformed into a babyface who talks about her background as a Marine and a mother, while squashing local talent on SmackDown and having Sasha Banks cower in fear at the mere thought of being punched by her. It's a strange world when Lacey Evans is a top babyface on a wrestling show, but that's the world we now live in on Friday nights. Now let's see whose stock has decreased the most this week. Stock down number 3, Drake Maverick Drake Maverick was embarrassed by Elias and Dana Brooke this week, December 6, on SmackDown, in a segment that culminated with a grown man receiving an over-the-knee spanking in the ring. Maverick is usually involved in comedy angles, but this one seemed much more about severe humiliation than laughter. Stock down number 2, Ricochet Ricochet comes off like a dork every time he talks about showing the world that superheroes are real. It also doesn't help when he is positioned alongside Humberto Carrillo as the supporting players who are a tear down from Rey Mysterio and Randy Orton. Mysterio referred to his buddies as the future of the business. Sometimes that's okay, but more often than not, stars are labeled as the future because they aren't being pushed in the present. And their ricochet was in the main event of Raw this week, December 2nd, taking another pin at the hands of AJ Styles. It looked like Ricochet was headed for a one-on-one -on -one feud with Randy Orton just a few weeks ago, but Orton has quickly moved on to more important competition like Drew McIntyre and AJ Styles. That leaves Ricochet a bit lost in the shuffle as a background player alongside Carrillo, while the real stars, Orton, Mysterio, Styles, McIntyre, receive a bigger spotlight. Stock down number 1, Becky Lynch Becky Lynch claims to be the face of WWE, but how can that be true when they keep her off television for two consecutive weeks seemingly due to creative having nothing for her? I have a hard time seeing a scenario where other top stars in their prime like John Cena, The Rock, Steve Austin, CM Punk, and Roman Reigns would be kept off television for two straight weeks unless there was a good reason for it. What it probably comes down to is that the depth of WWE's women's division on both shows has been severely compromised in the aftermath of the WWE draft, and the focus on Raw has been with Charlotte and Asuka. So the options for Becky were to either have a promo segment with no match to build towards, have a quick squash match against someone, or get involved in Charlotte's storyline. Rumors suggest she'll get involved in Charlotte's storyline in time for the TLC pay-per-view. But that's also part of the issue here working against the idea that Becky is the face of the company, the face of the company shouldn't be an ancillary part of someone else's story. There you have it, Cagesiders. 
Whose stock do you think has changed the most this week?